So I have an SEO question over here that I'm about to rebuild a website from scratch in WordPress. What steps should I take to avoid losing rankings? The site is ranking pretty high and I don't want to mess that up. Uh, mess that up. But it's also 10 years old and can really do a facelift now. So, you know, like I didn't know that I started my blog in 2015 and it's 2023. It is even, you know, eight years old. My blog is, you know, eight years old. So you never know that uh, you may have to restructure or recreate or rebrand or facelift your website again and you are confused on what strategies you need to look out before uh, doing a makeover of your site because you do not want to lose all your existing rankings so in this video i will be explaining about a few of the strategies through which you are being sure that uh, you can have a minimal effect on your rankings and if you just follow these strategies so first thing first is you have to follow with the url structure so let's say my blog structure is something like this. You can see that this is my permalinks URL structure, which I am right over here. So I recommend you to not to compromise over here. So in case if you are going to compromise over here, what you have to do is you have to use a 301 redirect. In case if you use any plugin, you can easily do it through plugin. But I recommend you like, like in case if you like, this is a rank math and uh, in rank math, uh, let's say, I open rank math and what I want to tell about you over here is redirections. Okay, so in case if you create a new link, what you have to do is you have to add a new re re redirection and make sure to have a 301 permanent move. So this will have a minimal impact on your uh, in case if your URL structure is changed. But in case if you work with your old url structure like this so you know that is you know like this the same url structure so you know that is a very good thing or very good strategy uh, for your uh, facelift the second is to determine which pages of your website are uh, you know getting more links more links from external website what you have to do is you have to open your google search console and you know find out which pages of your website are getting you know uh, major uh, links and you have to preserve those pages and you have to make sure that any page over there any change over there let's say if i open my blog let's say if i open my blog over here uh, and see you know my links over here you can see that these are my top link pages so you do not have to compromise on these pages you have to make a list and so that these pages should not be changed i recommend you to not change, at least change these pages because these pages are the main power of your backlinks so in case if you completely omit this page or i do not even recommend running a 301 redirect for this url or this url or you know uh, pages which have you know which comes in the top pages uh, top external links so you know you have to work on this as well you also have to optimize your new website for search engines for instance you know even this is a 10 years old article but you know i regularly update it add promo add you know meta tag descriptions heading structures why because you know i have to keep on updated with the google policies and you know h2 tags h3 tag descriptions whatever is requirement of the google i continuously try to make them updated so that is another advantage that like which is why you know my articles get keep on ranked and it is because uh, due to I work on on page SEO, I also work on internal linkings. I, you know, in case if you open any article and you can see that other links, you know, either it's an authority link or either it's an internal link, like you can see, like my other, like over here, you can, like this is another page of my uh, blog. So you can see that all are internally linked with each other. So internal linking, optimizing your website for SEO is also very important. Last but not least is to have a strong eye on your Google search console for your rankings of your website. So in case of any issue, you have to, you know, work out on what is causing the issue. So in case of any issue, how you will figure out, you will figure out by your rankings of your website and how you can monitor your rankings. There are many tools available, uh, SCRP book or Google, even because Google search console is a free tool, which is why I recommend you to uh, go with the Google search console and constantly monitor your ranking and your website traffic. In case of any sudden increase or decrease, you can reverse any strategy you have done it. But I, in my opinion, these are, you know, uh, perfect strategies to have a minimal impact uh, while doing a facelift of your website. I hope you like this. Uh, and make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will be looking forward for your feedback in the comments. Thank you and bye-bye.